Hello, my name is Ashley Sher. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. Today we're going to explore chapter 14, verse 10 of the Gita. Chapter 14, verse 10 reads as follows. Sometimes Arjuna Sattva arises above Rajas and Tamas and um, predominates. Sometimes Rajas is above Sattva and Tamas. And Thomas sometimes is above Sattva and Rajas. So this is um, sort of uh, like the alchemy of the time. And um, let's take a deeper dive and understand traditionally what is said here. So when Sattva is predominant, Raja and Tamas stay away. But when Raja comes, both Sattva and Tamas stay away. And when that last fell of Tamas comes, both Sattva and Raja leave. That is not, it is not that one is always Tamastic. When you see people who are Tamastic, don't condemn them completely. At that point, Tamas has taken over in their minds, dominant, dominated by um, Tamas, the other qualities have temporarily subsided. If you allow yourself to be dominated by Tamas, most of the day you will be labeled a Tamastic person. So the greater the percentage of the quality determines what label you get. It's like an equilateral triangle. If you put the base towards you, the other, the other two recede. Anyone can be the base. And when one leads, the other follows. So the idea is that um, when we are trying to control our actions, you can um, focus on um, what not to do, which is sometimes really hard because when you tell yourself, don't do this, then you end up um, thinking about it more. But if you fill your actions with um, your desired actions, and you just don't have room for much else. May the light in me be the light in you. Have a blessed day. Namaste.